Okay, hello. This is your pick a card reading. It is going to be what have they realized about you. So a person on your mind, you know, think about who that person is or who you want to come out into the cards and um, pick a pile. So I'm going to go ahead and go into pile number one. The Butterfinger. If you chose the Butterfinger, this is pile number one. My first message is somebody is realizing that they're in love with you. And then I have the five of cups regrets. Someone's realizing that they actually have regrets when it comes to you. This person may offer you something soon, acting like everything is fine. All right. But someone is also realizing that um, you need more than just sexual pleasure um, to sustain a relationship. Maybe that's worked for this person in the past, but it didn't work for you. And then we have the tower card. Whoa. What did someone realize? I think that they fucked up. I think this person had to go through a tower in life. They're experiencing a tower in life now. Or a tower they just experienced made them realize a lot about you. Um, somebody had to realize that they find comfort this somebody hold on because somebody could be realizing that you broke their heart that they actually heartbroken over you so but this this could be someone that actually did you all did you wrong and i'm 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 hearing and seeing like the all seeing eye like if somebody is experiencing some sort of tower and karma from interactions that they have with you or the relationship that they have with you it could have a lot to do with this person not seeing you as the opportunity you are in the first place and now it's like when you were around this person you know you were just a sexual offer yeah you turned them on but do you do anything else um this person may need a rest from you they may need a break from you um this could be somebody now like if the relationship is purely sexual and you're dealing with this person now they may get to a point where they feel like they need a break from you because is there anything else to offer um, but you could be getting a lot of sleep soon as well. Someone could feel like you're ignoring them, but really you are asleep. You're in the bed. But I feel like this is somebody who has regrets about the way a relationship or a situation played out between the two of you, but they would rather project the way they feel about themselves onto you and what they've done onto you. I think this person sits with themselves after going through certain hardships that they felt like happened to them because you guys fell apart and they feel as though they have to heal from this heartbreak in order for them to get their life together in other aspects they have to heal from what you did to them because this person could be a ticking tom bomb somebody that's very frustrated very angry with everybody and it has a lot to do with their frustrations towards you so i feel like this person is realizing that they want to bring a tower into your life or maybe even go off on you or this person feels like you brought this tower into their life OK, but somebody does feel like they have to leave you alone or that you are not good for their health. And then I have the five of cups again. I got two five of cups from two different decks. So this person is very sad. I don't think this person knew where this feeling was coming from. You know, sometimes you just be sad or lackluster or you just feel like really moody and out of it. And you just want to sleep all day. and You don't want to deal with anybody. Someone didn't really realize where that was coming from until they really sat with themselves and realized that it has a lot to do with you. If you were to reach out to this person first, like if you reach out to someone, like offer them an opportunity, um, it may trigger them. Somebody may get triggered from you reaching out. And then we have the page of wands, okay? Some of you guys, be careful of one of your love interests, like speaking to another love interest on behalf of you like your phone rings somebody call you and then you have a love interest that picks up the phone you know and causes a tower or drama in your life but I feel like somebody is wanting to reach out to this sad person and I feel like the sad person has their back turned to everybody like somebody's kind of realizing like maybe someone at one point in time didn't really realize that their life was falling apart and now they're realizing that there is somebody new here okay if you meet somebody new and you want to know if you should go for it i feel like it would be a great sexual connection it'll be the kind that puts you to sleep all right but somebody it feels like they realize that that's all you are all you bring is sex and chaos 
<laughs> that is what somebody is realizing about you. And this person could be a fire sign or a Scorpio. And then we have the five of swords. This person could be very petty as well, like very hurtful, or they feel like that's how you are. You're very petty, very hurtful with your words. I think somebody feels like they're realizing how much of a bad person you are. Like they're looking at their life and the way it's played out and how it's falling apart. And they feel like it has a lot to do with you, what you've done. And with the two of swords, this person is really like not wanting people to see them this way. They're conflicted and indecisive of what they should invest in moving forward or if they even should ever invest into you. It's like, why would I invest into you again if this is what you cost me the first time around? What did I get out of this? What do, what did you gain from that? Like they want to know what did they gain? What did you gain? And what is the point of you wanting this person feels like you want to tear them down. You want to destroy them. You want to cause pain in their life. And this toxic pattern, this toxic way of thinking with the devil card, this person feeling like you are just this toxic, evil ass entity is part of the reason why they are a toxic person themselves. I feel like they are the type of person that looks to find someone to blame except themselves they don't look at themselves when things are happening or why certain things happen they only look at you like if you're a feminine energy i honestly hate men that be like okay what can you offer me more than sex you know and a lot of times when a relationship is sex based men make it that way unless you are toxic and you like i don't want nothing but some dick leave me alone and they don't went through hell and hot this is almost like I went through a breakup because I decided to go and have sex with you. And now my life is falling apart. You're the devil. Okay, but you decided to come and have sex with me while you were in a relationship. Are you not taking, why are you not taking accountability for your own actions? So I feel like that's the problem in this scenario. Like somebody feels like they need a rest. They need a break. They need to heal from the things that you have done to them and the problems that you have caused them in their life. They really feel like you are just so toxic and draining. Okay, like... This could be somebody that they felt like you loved them. You could be this person's friend. Like you have a friendship with somebody and you guys crossed a boundary in terms of friendship. Or, you know, something about being friends with you always ruins their relationships. Um, or they can't tell you anything. You're always uh, doing something toxic no matter what they say. This could be um, you were the third party. And now this person, this person could be even mad at you. Even if they are going through a breakup, they could really be mad at you because they are in love with you. And this person is, somebody is mad at you because they feel like you used them for what was in their pants and they are in love with you. This is somebody that feels used for sex, but I'm honestly feeling like it's more so a masculine energy. They gave you good sex. They gave you their time and their energy. And all they gained from it was a broken heart, a broken relationship, and a broken life. Okay? <laughs> that is how that person feels about you. That is what they are realizing. Okay, pile number one. Butterfingers. You slipped right through this person's hands. Okay? <laughs> Butterfingers. All right? So, I am going to go to pile number two. This is the pile for if you chose the whatchamacallit bar. Okay? You may have a Leonardo moment though. That right there. Okay? Somebody may, what someone may realize about you is that they know you. Okay? <laughs> so you may be, somebody may see you and they like, it's something about that person right there. It's something about them. I went to school with that motherfucker. Okay? Somebody may realize that they know you. And that may be the way that a relationship begins or, you know, a conversation begins. This person is realizing how beautiful you are, how sexy you are, and how you do things on purpose. How you use your sexual energy and seductress energy on purpose to hurt them. <laughs> Why is everybody realizing that y'all are toxic? Okay, this person feels like you know that they want you and that they need you sexually and you kind of tease them and you don't you don't you don't put out okay you don't put out this person what they're realizing about you is that you may be greedy with your finances or that you have a lot of money saved and you're not trying to help them while you see them struggling all right or that they're in between you and someone else who's just as greedy that neither one of y'all really care about them 
this person may be dealing with a lot and they feel like you just stress them out even more with the two of swords this person may realize that you have like a decision to make about them that you are not really wanting to make that you're not making a clear decision when it comes to them but you're not wanting to let them go either this person could be realizing how much you put into your life like how much you have to handle y'all are people that like you know you save your money you pay your bills you do all the back breaking groundwork of your life and you make all your decisions yourself even the decisions that are hard so somebody if you did have to let somebody go at one point in time they may be realizing that that was a hard decision for you then i have the eight then i have the eight of pentacles the six of wands and the hangman okay so this person could also be realizing how successful you are somebody's never really paid attention to who you are in terms of it's like the work that you do the work that you put into life what you've created for yourself how much action you take like what how much you are moving around running around and doing on a daily basis like somebody has had a front row seat to you really building yourself up brick by boring motherfucking brick okay and that's why it's like so you make somebody realize that they're living in a fairy tale like something that they built their life off of was not real and it was no work put into it and that is why they may be having the stress that they have now somebody's realizing that you know even everybody stresses even you have things that you stress about but you're good at showing showing up in situations as if you already know what's going to happen as if you already have things handled this person is realizing that you have a really good poker face okay they're realizing how successful you are you know how you can tell when somebody don't like you like that <laughs> i've talked to people that don't want to know nothing of my career never ask me about it like nothing like that people who take real interest in you what you do what do you need to do that you know do you need my help in any way type shit people that love you and like they don't have to love your hobbies but they take interest in what you like um just as much as you do you know they want to they want to know about you like i feel like i have met men that completely ignore <laughs> that i have this channel uh probably ain't never looked at it <laughs> nothing okay this is the type of person that is just like damn you know i didn't really know it <sighs> you know i just feel like whatever you are you could be an amazing painter you have all these paintings on your wall and you painted them and your partner would never know that you're the one that painted all the paintings because they never ask or they never every time they you know every time you're like well you know i'm an artist they start talking about something else they don't really care to hear what you have going on like somebody's realizing they can make money off of you as well you know i'm here a scam somebody's realizing that you know they can help you in some type of way shape or form like maybe somebody's always wanted to help you and now they can and be careful of somebody who is saving or hoarding money um coming off as they are struggling but really they have a really good savings and they're betraying you in that way because you don't see that you don't see that but a part of the reason why someone does this is because you're very successful so i don't know what that's about somebody's putting a lot of hard work in because they want to be on your level somebody's the eight of pentacles and you're the six of wands and they want to be like you i'm not sure what the hanged man is about we have a tower they're realizing the struggles that you went through to get to where you are the page of swords like yeah somebody's watching you somebody's researching you someone's looking into your life and they realizing that everything that glitters is not gold that things weren't easy for you wherever you are what you have how you got there that none of those things are a walk in a park or a picnic <clears throat> what is wrong with my throat lord jesus <clears throat> my throat feels funny um some of y'all may realize you have an allergy and like an allergy to something so be careful about that All right, and then we have the Ace of Swords. 
someone's realizing who you truly are. I don't think someone's ever really seen you for who you truly are, okay? At one point in time, someone could have thought you were money hungry, you know, that you had lustful demons, that you use people to get ahead, that you will step on anybody to get where you want to go. And now they see you as someone who is gentle, trying to protect yourself, and trying to keep a peaceful mind. Like someone went from seeing you as like an aggressor to the person. It's like seeing you as the villain. From the villain to the innocent bystander that is being attacked in some sort of way, shape, or form. Like if you've ever dealt with being um, scapegoated, people turning against you, people projecting on you. Like somebody is like realizing who you are. The true version of yourself. Like, this person saw you in such a lustful way at one point in time. And now they see you so soft, peaceful, calm to be protected. Somebody could be realizing that someone is controlling you or your money as well. That you may be binded to a contract that's not necessarily good for you. Especially if this is like a lawyer. You may be binded to a big company and a lawyer wants to help you get out of a bad contract. Or this is a bad lawyer that wants to put you in a bad contract. But I think it's vice versa. I feel like there is somebody around you who is kind of holding on to what's yours or trying to take advantage of what's yours for their own good. And they're realizing the person that's trying to take advantage of you is realizing that they can't do that. Like, because I feel like there's somebody who is seeing you that wants to protect you from this energy. Somebody's realizing that it's hard for you to tell your truth because you're blinded to how much is going on around you in terms of people trying to keep you stuck, boxed in, unable to speak. But you will be successful. This seems like that's somebody. this is somebody that's going to help you uh, create some sort of tower in your life that ends in your liberation or freedom. Somebody realized that they betrayed you because you were successful. You were more successful than them. Like somebody's realizing that they're a traitor. <laughs> that they're not a good person. That they never deserve to be in your life or around you at all. That's what this person is realizing. Okay. And not because it's not like pile number one. It's not because anything bad happened to them. It's because they took their time to look into you and see who you really are and realize that the perception that people or this person may have had of you is not the true you. It's not true to who you are, what you show, what you stand for, or anything. Okay? So that is pile number two. And I'm going to go into pile number three. Pile number three. I've never had one of these. I wonder if it's good. <laughs> this is strawberry flavored. I can't wait to try it. Rice Krispies strawberry. This could be somebody that likes strawberries. Pile number three. You know, or Rice Krispie treats. That's an indication of who they are. Snap, crackle, and pop. People are realizing how fortunate you are. So not just one person. A lot of people, people are realizing how much fortune you have or how much of a blessing you are. How when you come into their life, they are blessed by the divine because of your energy. People are realizing how happy you make them. Why am I saying people? I feel like there's multiple people that find happiness within you or when they're around you or through your energy. Um, somebody could be realizing that you are of the LGBT community. And then we have the seven of swords. People are realizing how people have tried to steal this energy from you, steal this abundance from you, take it away. And we have the world card and you've made it through karmic cycles with your head held high and in perfect balance, yin and yang. Okay. Someone's realizing that you see them as your perfect counterpart. I'm not sure if this person is the Seven of Swords energy. The Knight of Cups. This could be a love interest. If somebody came into your life to trick you, hurt you, or fool you, they are fooling themselves because they're falling for you. 
Somebody's realizing how much they want to communicate with you. They want to, somebody like wants to tell you how much they care about you. And then we have the Knight of Wands. You may realize, somebody may realize you're in a relationship and they want to destroy it, okay? They want to try to destroy it. So be careful of somebody who wants to sleep with you just so that you can't enjoy this happiness, this fortune that is in your life or coming into your life. And then we have the chariot card. The person that loves you could be a Cancerian and the person that wants to cause you problems could be a Sagittarius. And then I have the two of pentacles. Somebody's realizing how stable you are, how beautiful your car is if you have a car or that you sh are supposed to be their passenger princess. Somebody wants to pick you up in their car. They hope you like their car. Someone's realizing they could pull up on you in a bi on a bicycle and you would still like them. The Ten of Swords. Somebody's realizing that something is over. That you feel stable when you're not around them. Somebody's realizing that if they want to have you, if they want to sleep with you, if they want to be in your life, they have to pretend that they want real love with you. They can't come in as they are. Like someone is the type of person to, they want to be able to say, yeah, um, I'm just here for sex. I don't like it like that. I'm actually in a relationship and you go for it and you play the side piece role, but you're not that type of person. So they're realizing that they have to kind of trick you into thinking y'all are in a relationship or headed that way. So if someone is always saying that they want to build onto a relationship they want to grow into a relationship. They want to work them, sit them way into a relationship. If it's one thing I know about a man, especially if a man wants to be in a relationship with you, y'all going to be in a relationship already. Okay. And some of y'all could already be there. You could already be in a relationship. So whoever is coming in um, to try to do this to you is going to get a very rude awakening. And then this person is going to be realizing that you are genuinely happy without them, that you have genuinely moved on, that you're genuinely happy in a relationship. People are seeing the fortune and success and the happiness that's in your life, whether you realize it or not. Or, you know, side note, you have a lot of fortune and happiness ahead of you. It's going to come into your life very quickly out of nowhere. And... um this is like something spiritual. Like it comes with a relationship. Somebody's uh, realizing how like special your birth chart is as well. A lot of y'all have special birth charts in this pile. Like your birth chart is that of someone who is meant to shake up the world, change the world. Like you're way special than you know. Somebody is realizing that you guys have adjacent, like... A synastry chart, like y'all pair well together. If someone's not in astrology, into astrology, they just realizing that y'all go together like peanut butter and jelly. Like either you're the peanut to their jelly or you're the jelly to their peanut butter. It's if you think you're the jelly to their peanut butter. <laughs> okay. Somebody's realizing that you know that they're a liar. So there's really no point in lying to you, but they do it anyway. Somebody's realizing no matter how much they try to lie to you and hurt you, you're going to be at peace because you you live in your own world. You know, I feel like you live in your own world and in your world, nothing can really burst your bubble, your bubble or hurt you. I don't think you really care for what's going on within this person or what they're doing behind your back. So if somebody's trying to hurt you on purpose for fun sneak around on you for fun, lie to you for fun. And that's what I that's what I be saying people be demonic as fuck cuz you know demons get off on instilling fear into people. Like they feed off of people's fear, they feed off of people's pain, they feed off of people's depression and unhappiness. If you need to see somebody unhappy to feel good about yourself, you're literally a demon. Okay? And it's not working for whoever this person is. And they're realizing that like somebody, something may be over to you, but to this person, 
you're just in your feelings and y'all are playing a game and somebody's realizing that you really don't care. It's really over. You're really balanced and that you found the yin to your yang. Like they're real deal realizing that you are, this is like somebody that y'all will break up and they'll swear you someone somewhere crying thinking about them, stressed about them. And in reality, you started a whole new life with a whole new person and y'all got a baby on the way. So it's like, as the person that loves you, it's like the person that loves you is supposed to be with you is coming into your life very fast. The person that does love you realizes that you were heaven sent, that you were spirit, that they were spiritually guided to you and that they were meant to give you a child they want to give you a child they're realizing that you would be an amazing mother and you're someone that they want to raise their child they're realizing how stable you are they want to pick you up um on their white horse i don't know why someone's hell bent on picking you up in their car <laughs> like the car is a big deal hmm that's what's being realized about you guys okay Pound number three. Don't you know that you're toxic? It's like you already know somebody's toxic, so. <laughs> All right. And now we will go into Ohana. Okay, Ohana, let's see. I just dropped the card. The Eight of Swords. Somebody realized that you have really bad anxiety. That you don't like to wear shoes. That you thick it in a snicker in all the right places. They could be realizing that you are toxic. They have this toxic connection to you. That y'all keep each other stuck or trapped. They feel like you guys are bound to each other by the devil. Especially if both of you are beautiful. And then we have the seven of pentacles. This person realizes that you're wasting your time or they are wasting their time or that you've worked hard on something that you've built. They may feel like you're wasting your time trying to connect with someone like them and that you should focus on your finances or what you've built. This person is acknowledging the hard work that you've put into your life. They're realizing that you tended to your garden all by yourself. And they're kind of, they're realizing that you are a queen and or king, Ohana. Somebody's realizing how powerful you are, how royal you are. They realize how obsessed you are with their finances as well. Judgment. This could be an ex. They realize, this person realizes that you have a great judge of character. They may watch you a lot, watch you often. They they This person realizes that you're very entertaining. Like the more they watch you, the more they realize how entertaining you are. And they also realize that you, they love you and they feel like you are full of love. They realize how much they love you and they realize how full of love you are. And then we have the Queen of Wands. You're gorgeous. This person also realizes that you have the aspect of damn near all the queens, right? So the King, oh my God, the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands, you're their counterpart. This. I've been around the world, all around the way. The Three of Swords. This person is realizing that they broke their own heart uh, the day they ever decided they wanted anybody but you. This person could be tied to someone toxic for finances. And this toxic person, this toxic person is making them realize how much they love you. This toxic person is making them realize how amazing you are. This toxic person is making them realize how money is the root of all evil. So a lot of you guys... You may tend to your finances in a way where you put love into your passions and what you do and what you want for yourself. 
and you go after those things and you give birth to beautiful creations and you're going to always be fulfilled. You're going to always have what you need because you move out of that energy and someone who around them who is addicted to money, who is addicted to power, who is addicted to greed, um, they only take what they can get from other people. So you're making somebody realize they want to leave another person barren. Whether it's a love interest, a mother figure, a boss, they want to get away from someone else that they feel tied to. So this person could have went from believing that you were the devil in their life, you were toxic, to realizing that someone around them who holds them back from you is the toxic person. This person is realizing that they want you to wait for them as well. This person is realizing out of all of their options, this person may have an addiction to holding on to exes. And out of all of their options, they're realizing that you are the one that is their counterpart. You're the one that they're meant to be with. Where's that other deck? This person feels like you're the one they're meant to be with. I can't find it. I'll just use another one of these cards. And we have the Knight of Cups. And they're coming to offer you love happily. This is someone that's coming to offer you love happily. People can be realizing that you're pregnant. Now that like your belly is just now starting to show. People are realizing that you're pregnant. Or how, how you glow as a pregnant person. Somebody wants you to hold on just a little bit longer. That's what I'm hearing. Hold on just a little bit longer. And somebody wants to know, there's an ex that wants to know if you think about them. Like if you love them, if you ever miss them, do you think about them as much as they think about you? You may even have an ex that stalks you to see if you make any subliminals that are aimed at them. And this person, by realizing that you don't, this person is realizing that you love yourself a lot. That's all I'm getting, Ohana. At one point, somebody thought you guys were not good for each other. And now they're realizing that you guys are a pair. The king and queen of pentacles. I mean, the king and queen of wands. If you guys work hard and take action for the things you want, you can become the king and queen of pentacles. But you guys may look different. You could be from different cultures, cultures, backgrounds, different races or religion. But you go together so well. It's making me think about Elemental once again. Um, I got a reading about Elemental in the shorts. But, you know, fire and water. They made a very passionate couple. <laughs> okay. So that is what I have. For Ohana, that was like the best pile in terms of positive messages, to be honest. You guys enjoy this reading.